when a foster carer first meets a child, I think the most important thing is being ready for this child to be different from any other child they've met. So really having an open mind about who this child is and what they bring with them and um, the kind of experiences that they've had and the way that that impacts on the, how they'll relate to the, to the care that's offered. Um, I think often foster carers um, will have a, a ch more of a challenge with their child who they're looking after than other children in establishing trust, and I think that's got to be the first, that's kind of got to be the starting point for foster carers. If they can um, enable a child to feel a, enough trust that they can take some of the things that are available in the foster care that they offer, then that will make um, a really big difference to how things go after that. And sometimes that can be that can kind of be. Um, offered in the kind of early days and sometimes it's something that takes a really long time to establish. Um, but it's really important if possible that a foster carer can kind of really persist in trying to find ways to help that child feel like they're a safe person, they're the foster carers and the people they're living with in their family and that the, the home is a safe place to be. Sometimes they might find that the child isn't responding to them in the way they expect them to. So they might be doing lots of really nice things, really caring things. They might have put a lot of thought into um, how to help a child feel like um, they're important and they, they're kind of worth looking after well. Um, little things like um, letting them choose um, the bed sheets, for example, in their new bedroom or um, making smaller choices like what they have for breakfast, what they like, you know, what, they, what they've always eaten. Can the foster carer find um, a way of offering the same kind of thing to help them feel kind of that comfort and consistency from their previous care experiences? But sometimes those things, however much a foster carer tries, just don't hit the mark and they don't get that kind of sense that the child appreciates it, the child is taking in that care, the child is kind of um, able to s sort of um, really see the way that they're going out of their way to look after them and, and kind of help them to feel cared for um, and that's can be it can be difficult to keep trying keep persisting keep that kind of caring approach um, when you don't get that kind of that feedback from the way that the child responds um, and similarly children coming into a new situation foster placement uh, um, coming into foster care can be really very frightening for a child everything's different everything's unknown um, they're likely to have had um, experience an experience before that a kind of loss of losing touch with whoever was looking after them previously and so they're going to be kind of on high alert really and so the foster carer also might find that they are really looking out for um, threat or risk or kind of danger in their environment all the time so even when the foster carer feels like they've established a safe home, they've got a kind of warm, loving environment, the child might overreact to something um, or react in a way that they hadn't expected, which seems like an overreaction and um, can feel kind of quite difficult for the foster carer, quite rejecting or quite um, threatening from the child, you know, that the child might actually appear threatening to them or um, very unsettling and um, so they then need to stop and kind of think about what's going on for the child, what are they bringing with them, really try and stay connected to the child's experience, look at not just what's going on on the outside, but really think very carefully about what might be going on in the child's mind, in the child's body, um, and what they carry with, with them from the experiences they've had before they've arrived in, in that foster carer's care.